Hello everyone, let's create some items together for the RPG Builder demo. So if we go to general and items, you see that the list is empty. I cleared everything I was using for testing just to start fresh and start creating the items I actually want in the demo. So for this video, we will be making together a weapon as well as a full set of armors and even a consumable at the end, which is going to be some kind of health potion. So to create items, very simple, you know, uh, you go to the item module, you start typing a name of the items that you would want. In this case, we'll start with the axe. You pick your icon, and then you have a few fields here, which is defining types. In this case, we're lucky because they are already all correct. So we want this to be a weapon, an axe, and 200. We don't have anything to change here. For the item model, we're going to use one of the models from Polytop Studio. You can see here, not this one. I want to create the axe. So we will take the axe model. We just drag and drop it here in the editor, and that's it. Attack speed is going to be about 2 and 5 to 9 damage. I'm not going to assign an auto attack here because I am not using auto attack in the demo. But you can. You can just attach an ability here if you want. And when you equip the weapon, your auto attack is going to be overridden. So, stats. Let's add two stats. First is going to be strength, maybe like 5. And health, maybe like 15. It's not going to have any requirement, but it's going to have an equip on use action. If you don't add this, you can't equip the item. Now that we have this, it is something that can be equipped. In this case, it's a weapon. So you need to add this to your weapons and armors always. And the rest is going to stay the same. So that's it. We now will start to create armor. So um, plate helmet. And in this case, we have to switch a few other fields. So now it's armor, plate, and helmet is correct. And here you see that I'm going to type plate underscore helmet. We don't see the underscore here, but it's here. And um, this is going to enable the plate underscore helmet game object when we equip the item and, you know, disable it when we unequip it. So it's going to look in your uh, character. And if there is one piece of armor called that way, then it's going to equip it. So stats, same, we will add maybe some health, something like eight and some armor. I am not going to be customizing stats for each item here because that's not really the point of this video. The point is more to go a bit faster and not spend, you know, too much time on the item creation. So, but it's very easy, as you can see, to, you know, uh, go back and customize your uh, item as you want. So equip on use action and that's it. Now to go a bit faster, I'm going to start duplicating those items. So here we have the plate helmet copy and we will call it uh, plate chest. Select the correct icon and you see that it's saving all the previous settings. So, you know, it's saving some time. Um, in this case, we just have to change from helmet to chest and change the name here. That's it. And we can just save again. So now let's make the um, gloves. And you see how quick it is uh, when you get used to it to um, you know, create full set of armors and things like that. So let's make the pants. Now cape. So, and the uh, last one is going to be the boots. And the boots name. Perfect. So now we created a full set of armor and a weapon. And as I said, we will make a consumable together. So let's call this, for example, health potion. And there is an icon for that provided by Ponetti. Links are in the description for all the partners. So this is going to be a consumable. It's not going to have a requirement, but I'm going to show you a bit what's possible. So you can require many things for an item to be uh, possible to equip, you know. In this case, we could, for example, require the uh, warrior class to be level 9 to use this potion if you wanted to. Um, a skill level, it could be, for example, I don't know, you require the hunter or blacksmithing skill to be a specific level. You could even require an item to be on, for example. I know it's not going to make much sense, but you could require the trainee axe 
to be in your bag to equip this potion and you could even decide if you want this item to be consumed or not now you could also require an ability so for example let's say to use the uh, healing potion you need to know the power blast ability or a crafting recipe to be known or a resource node or a bonus as you can see here or a race uh, for example only human can uh, use these potions stuff like that you could also require a quest but not only um, a quest to be completed but you can choose the exact state you want the quest to be in so you can see that the quest can be ongoing completed abandoned failed turn in if you wanted to um, have an item that can only be used or equipped when a certain quest is failed i'm not sure if there is a use case for that but it's possible so that's you know here for you to use you can also require a certain um, NPC to be killed in this case. You could, for example, I don't know, uh, require 500 wolf to be killed before you can use this item or select the skeleton boss and put it to one. And you can now require an, you know, um, a boss to be killed to equip a specific item. So that's pretty cool. And when it comes to a new action, this um, potion is not going to be equipped, but you see that we have many, many different um, options. In this case, you can use an ability, you can um, learn an ability, you can um, learn recipe, and you see that for all of them, you have the choice to consume or not the item. Meaning that, for example, the health potion uh, in our case is going to be using an effect, which we will be creating uh, together. And you can choose if yes or not, this health potion should be consumed. In, in this case, it's going to be yes. So I'm just going to save that for now. Create or new effect, which is going to be called health potion. Mm, potion like this. It's going to use the same icon. It's going to be a heal over time of 10 seconds. I said heal over time, not damage over time. Um, it's going to heal for 50. It's going to have 10 pulses, and that's it. So here we have our new health potion effects, and now we can go back to our item, health potion, unuse action, use effect, health potion, consume. And that's it. You can make it stack, for example, 10 times. And we can simply hit save. And now you see that we created a health potion that is, that is going to trigger on the player an health effect, I mean health potion effect, and it's going to consume the um potion so let's try all of that in game now so we have our character here and of course those items are not in our bags but if we open the developer panel you know which is used to for example giving you class experience um currency stuff like that you see that we have a um, item panel here and this is going to show you all the items you have in your game and in this case you know, it's showing us everything we just created. So um, let's, uh, I'm going to just put this back over and let's give ourselves like the full armor set and maybe something like five potions. So we have all of that. We can now, you know, equip. Um, so you see that the gear is also here. So you can equip those items. You see that they have tool tips, you know, so when you hover them, it's showing the stats we just decided them to have. So pretty cool, now we're not naked anymore and we look great. Once again, this is from um, Polytop Studio. So very, very nice looking. And once again, the link is, is in the description. And concerning the health potion, you see that I can right click it and it is now healing us. We have the health potion effect here and it's used one. So we now only have four anymore. So perfect. We can now, you know, learn some abilities. Or maybe just use this one and go fight a wolf and um when we lost some health we can you know very easily begin our health now with these potions well it didn't damage us too much but you know that's 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 fine so that's it for the um items video i'm of course going to create a lot more items in uh, rpg builder for the demos there are going to be Quite a few more armor set, weapons, consumables, crafting recipes, things like that. But um, yeah, I think it's more than enough for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.